Okay, boys, after clocking in how many hours? 20 hours? What the? F after clocking in 20 hours of playing Watering Waves, Watering Waves, Zenless Zone Zero, and hitting level 31 in the internaut levels, I think it's finally time to make a overall review of the game. What's my thoughts on it? And what i want to see in the future let's start with my likes first okay for context i'm level 31 just like i said also i haven't used any of the gacha currency i haven't pulled i haven't pulled for bang boost i haven't pulled for the standard banner i haven't pulled any i'm just i've been only been using six characters that we get for free in the main story quest so this is gonna be a very very interesting review about a gacha game without using the gacha it's overall just gonna be a review of the just the game not not the gacha aspect of the game number one like i i have a list here overall aesthetics and vibes the vibes of the game is immaculate colors are vibrant the world is very very interesting as a whole and i think it has a lot of potential for future development because unlike honkai star rail and genshin impact it has a very modern vibe to it it's set on a world that's very similar to ours so you could see the consistencies of that world and one of the things that i like about this world is that even the npcs have very good designs they are reoccurring every day there's a four part like four part cycle every day evening morning midnight stuff like that the same npcs spawn here and they have their own storylines going on and it's very interesting overall as a world right and one of the things that i like the most about the world is the bang boos i love the concept of bang boos honestly i feel like if they release a plushie of this thing it's gonna sell out like hotcakes bro it's it's one of those things that i could see myself buying as a plushie and i don't usually buy merch for video games i don't really keep stuff in my room my, my room's barren right now yeah that's one of the things that i like about this game overall character designs are pretty cool usually i don't really care much about character designs i'm very very gameplay oriented as a as a gamer but the character designs are pretty cool i kind of wish there wasn't that much kid characters but other than that i really have no other problems with it but yeah that's the number one aspect of my life number two is the systems are very similar to genshin and hsr so if you come from both of those games or one of those games it's easy to transition into this game because the level up materials the, the character ascension materials the skills the concepts every single thing is eventually just copied and then pasted into this game and i could definitely see this being an aspect that helps Genshin Impact players and Honkai Star Rail players transition into brand new gacha games made by Hoyoverse. But at the same time, you could also see that aspect getting, um, how do you say this? Absorbed by other gacha games as well, such as Watering Waves. But yeah, that's gonna, that's one of the reasons why I like this game so much. But at the same time, it also has quite a few differences from hsr and genshin such as the factions number three i put here character designs are very different from what we're used to yes very different if you are usually playing hoyoverse games like genshin impact and honkai star rail even honkai impact the third the designs of the characters are very uh what you call it fantasy like uh or technology based and it's not um very modern like this it's a, a plague you don't usually see that in hoyoverse characters so it's a very interesting thing things like this a chainsaw sword um another one is the graphics boys the graphics not just the graphics the dubbing everything about this game is so smooth and it's definitely one of the best hoyoverse games in graphics wise right now of course genshin impact is four years old honkai star Wars is one year old lord the bounce of the jacket boys like they're just little things like that help a lot for the immersiveness of the game you know so that's one of the things i like and the one thing that i like the best out of this game other than the skip button because there's a skip button is the soundtracks i've i see a lot of people complaining about zen zone zero online that the soundtracks aren't hitting as hard as genshin's and hsr's 
honestly maybe it's just a demographic thing but the electro dubstep beat every time you fight enemies it's hitting the it's hitting the spot for me and i don't know why i'm not a psychology major or anything i have no idea why i'm so fixated by it but i just love the soundtrack of this game okay now that we've gone through my likes and dislikes on the game i didn't go through my dislikes let's just go through my dislikes right now because i have a lot of gripes in this game number one story is very generic and because there is a skip button just like i said earlier it makes you not as attached to the world overall now don't get me wrong i love the world i love that we have like a one-handed bang bag boot thing here i have i love that we have a music store disguised as an artifact system and i love that we have like a newspaper dog that gives us daily scratches but at the same time the story i'm being honest right here after 10 minutes of not 10 minutes maybe 30 minutes of the first video i listened to the story after the video i just skipped everything i just skipped everything honestly because it's not any maybe it's because it's not animated it's a comic type thing don't get me wrong the cinematics are crazy and they're very very good but the overall story i just i just skip i just skip skip button everywhere like that and it's not because of the skip button's fault because i play wandering waves too and i don't skip on that game i have a whole series about the story of watering waves i covered the story there i now don't skip a single dialogue i i usually skip the side quest but the main quest i don't skip that so i don't know what the problem is but they need to fix that because if you are not attached to a gacha game you're gonna quit like after the hype dies down because the one thing that grips a gacha game audience is the attachment to the characters and if you're not attached your, your game's not gonna be successful bro anyways the number two dislike is it's very resource intensive but it's helped by the custom features it has just like genshin and hsr they're very 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 resource intensive at the start of the game but unlike genshin and honkai star rail there are more things to level up and it's not just that you need to level up one two three four five things here also you have one two three four five six core skills per character at the same time you have five art you have how many artifacts do you have here you have six artifacts here okay that's the same i think that's no that's one more than genshin yeah that's one more than genshin and and let's not forget we also need to level up the bang booze so that's another thing so yeah it's very very interesting that they're giving out more things to level up that's one of the things i'm very worried about in the future for this game number three combat has potential but as of now it's very one-dimensional the timing for parries and assists are too easy to not miss up on i typed this like last night so i'm very i, I honestly forgot what i typed but yeah i honestly agree with this point the combat right now i could see the potential in it in the future especially if new characters show up new enemies show up but right now the enemies hard equals more hp and i don't know about you guys man i don't like that at least in wandering waves hard equals faster attacks harder to dodge harder to parry i tried the challenge mode in the story in the story quests and it's basically the same mobs but with more hp it's, it's just, you so you just spam special assists you just you just spam parries you just spam dodges until you kill the enemy and it's not that fun after 31 levels bro is the combat better than genshin impacts in my opinion yes but is it better than watering waves though it isn't and for a game that's using combat as its main selling point i don't think that's gonna be pretty good for the game overall i see potential they could definitely fix it the animations are crisp and everything it's what well, the main problem is the difficulty it's too easy and if it is hard it's not because it is hard it's because the enemies have way more hp than they need but yeah they, that's easily fixable hopefully hopefully they fix that because if not it's gonna be a pretty rough game and i think this is the last point that i made last night the tv system i'm indifferent about it earlier in the playthrough but now that i'm 31 levels in it's getting a bit annoying usually i don't really care for that uh, i am just gonna play um, it's at the start of the game i liked it because it's like 
scratching that exploration edge that i want but the longer it went the more annoying it got overall it's getting carried by its art style for me but but overall i think i'm gonna play the game chat i'm gonna stay for like a few months see where the game goes i'm very interested on how they're gonna fix the game because right now it's not really that bad like other people in the internet wants you to believe but it's definitely in a rough state right now and i definitely want to see some improvements but yeah chat that's gonna be it for the review if you want to watch the review go to my youtube i think it's on my panels right there on twitch but if you're on youtube thank you for click on the clicking on the video i'm gonna see you guys in the next video peace out